Alright guys, so I'm gonna go see Ready Player One tonight. Um, but I got dropped off at the theater really early. The movie doesn't start till another two hours and a half. So I'm gonna kill some time and I'm gonna use Movie Pass and watch something else while I would go see Ready Player One. So um, <laughs> let's just go see what is playing at this theater. So I'll see you guys there. So there was nothing else that I haven't watched, so I'm gonna watch something that I did not watch yet. God's Not Dead 3, um, I've seen the first one, I don't remember much, I guess it's pretty bad. Um, and then the second movie, I haven't even seen God's Not Dead 2, but I'm um, going straight on to God's Not Dead 3, I know it's probably gonna suck, but um, I just gotta do this to pass up time. Till I see Ready Player One at 6.30, so, um, wish me luck. There is literally no one in this theater, I'm the only one here. Um, so this is probably a pretty terrible movie, but I'll have to see if it's... Now, enjoy the show at AMC. <sighs> that was quite hard to sit through. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm about to go see Ready Player One, of course, different movie day. But um, I'll review this movie once I get home. Father's church, and it's not for sale. We cannot respond to hate with more hate. You don't get to play innocent. You did this. What you're doing, it's against the law. It's okay to be broken, Dave. That means God's still shaping you. The whole world knows what the church is against, but it's getting harder and harder to know what it's for. What am I doing wrong? Alright guys, um, I got dropped off, I was unfortunate enough to get dropped off at the theater three hours before Ready Player One started, and um, so I do have movie pass, and I did watch another movie before Ready Player One, uh, so I'd pass up the time, and I know there are better movies, I could have watched that I Could Only Imagine movie, which is actually getting some pretty decent reviews, but that movie already started, so I basically went with the only movie that was about to start that I haven't watched yet. That movie was God's Not Dead 3, Light in the Darkness. And um, I did this to myself and I really do kind of just hate myself for doing this. So this is the third movie to the now trilogy of God's Not Dead. Um, uh, I did see the first movie. I did not see the second movie, but I did see the third one. So um, basically we have the main character in this movie, I forgot his name. But uh, he follows up some controversy and his church gets attacked and it bursts into flames and it's on fire. Of course, it kills one of his friends and he's trying to find out who was the one who caused this fire. At the same time, they're trying to kick this guy off campus. So basically throughout the movie, he's just having a really difficult time and he's struggling. Just police fire, whoever remotely approved this story to this movie, especially as a faith-based Christian movie. There's no purpose for this movie to even exist. It's literally just any generic lazy movie, just that it brings up God here and there. And well, I guess they saw that and they're like, okay, this could probably work out as a third God's Not Dead movie. See, I remember watching the first God's Not Dead movie in theaters and I actually did like it back then, but now after thinking about it, that movie is just basically giving anyone who's not Christian the big old middle finger. And um, it's not really that good of a movie, but at the same time, I don't think it's as awful as people say it is. And I never even bothered with the second movie, but again, I did see this movie mainly because I had to kill time. And yeah, I did see this movie and it's even worse than I even anticipated. The writing in this movie is so fucking awful. This movie is just filled with awful dialogue. Um, there's this one line in particular that honestly did stay with me because of how much 
it, it, it just didn't really make sense. That line is, good is God because God is good. Now, I kind of see what they're trying to say with that line. But basically, it's it's the same exact thing as saying God is good. It, it just it just say one thing or the other. It just doesn't really make sense to kind of add on those two into one sentence. I just don't know what the writers were even thinking with the script on this movie. The characters in this movie are not that good and almost all of them actually lacked a lot of depth. Really the only, aside from the main character, I could have cared less for any of the other characters. That's too bad because one of the only things I could praise about this movie is the acting. The acting is actually kind of rock solid in this movie and it really has improved from the first movie, especially since we do have that guy from um, the first God's Not Dead movie, his name Shane Harper, I believe his name is. Uh, he was the main character of that movie and now he's in this movie and I thought that his acting did improve a lot from the first movie. And we also have this other girl, um, I forgot her name, she's in this movie, uh, her name's Samantha something. She actually worked with Shane Harper in a Disney Channel show called Good Luck Charlie, so they both worked on that together and now they're working on this movie together as well and I thought that she did a really good job as well and I can't, I don't know the main character's um, name like the actor that played him but I also thought he was actually pretty good in this movie. It felt like this movie was going nowhere with its story or as if it was trying to accomplish anything. Just the way this movie ended it felt like the writers of this movie just said fuck it this movie has been going on for too long which just ended here. And see it takes me a while for me to even fall asleep while watching a movie but about 40 minutes into this movie I just sort of shut my eyes and I went to sleep and I thought I slept through the whole movie but then I wake up five minutes later realizing that I only slept for five minutes and I also realized that there was still an hour left of this movie also with me saying that I'm kind of saying that this movie is actually kind of boring the editing in this movie is god awful and it feels very choppy especially in the beginning um, according to Wikipedia, this movie was barely just filmed back in December, which means that they had less than four months to edit this shit, and that's why this movie feels really choppy, because they didn't really have that much time to even edit the damn thing. Like, I'm up to a point where I'm actually kind of praising and respecting the first movie more, because even though it wasn't really that good of a movie, one thing that it did have going for it is that in, in the end of that movie, it did have a Christian message. Whereas this movie, it doesn't even feel like they're trying to attempt to give the audience a Christian message. It's it, it's up to a point where it's just a cash grab. The only reason why this movie was made is because the first and the second movie were profitable at the box office. And, you know, they made a lot of money, so they made a third one. And, you know, we never even needed a second one to begin with. Um, So, yeah, I do not recommend this movie. This movie, it, it's, it gets my lowest rating. Um, in my rating system, which is complete bullshit. I'm gonna give God's Not Dead 3 an F. This is my first time this year that I give an F while reviewing a movie, but technically at the same time not, because back in February I did give Winchester a D plus, but then the more I thought about it, the worse it gets, and um, Winchester right now sits at an F, so technically that is the first F I gave out this year um but yeah they're both tied for worst movie i think i would still prefer to watch this over winchester ever again but i'm um, not saying this is a good movie stay away from this movie um i i don't know why you would want to see this movie it's, it's just trying to get your money and yeah it's not a good faith-based movie or a christian movie at all um so yeah have you guys seen this movie if you guys even knew that it was out what did you guys think about it tell me in the comment section down below as always, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.